Today's Pima County Board of Supervisors meeting involves votes that could affect your commute and even early childhood education. None on your side, Tina Giuliano is joining us live. Good morning, Tina. So in some of these proposals, there may be also a cuts to street repair projects, right? Good morning. Yes, yeah, starting um, at 9 a.m. this morning, the Pima County Board of Supervisors are set to discuss the proposed budget for the next fiscal year that includes money for pavement improvements and early education funding. So here's a list. Uh, take a look at your screen of some of the key items on the board's agenda. As a part of the budget, there is a proposed program called the Truth in Taxation, which could lower property taxes but eliminate the extra funds for transportation projects, including 50 million dollars for pavement improvements. Now, in early childhood education, they're set to reinvert they're set to vote to reimburse the First Things First program opening 600 scholarships for eligible families to receive, which allows income eligible preschoolers to go to school. It's a huge constraint. It's, you know, 12,000 plus a year for a lot of families to afford child care and especially high quality child care is very expensive. So this has really been very well received. So what we're essentially doing is using COVID recovery funds to purchase additional scholarships over the next two years. Outside of budget discussions, the board is also expected to vote on a resolution that will move up one step closer to the proposed Amtrak train between Phoenix and Tucson, plus the flood control budget that could also help our roads. So coming up in the next half hour, I'll take a closer look at this proposed uh, fiscal year budget that could impact drivers. Tina Giuliano, Kega 9 on your side.